friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Seasick Stitch, and today we are going to do a flip through of the latest issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. This is the summer 2022 issue. So let's take a look. I've already looked through this, and you can see I already have something tabbed. So let's get into it. If you're not familiar with this um, magazine, it's half cross stitch and half punch needle, and I'll be showing you both. Um, and the um, big um, betting um, that's going on is which uh, punch needle pattern is it going to be that's going to tell that's going to make me think I need another hobby. <laughs> we'll see. So the very first um, design in this issue is the one that I have marked. It is called Happy Heart and it is designed by um, Subrosa Designs. It is 100 stitches wide by 108 high and I think it's just sweet and darling. Happy heart. And it's just cute. And I think it's just really pretty. This next one is a, a punch needle. It's called Summer's Bounty, a little dish of berries designed from old tattered flag, the old tattered flag. And it's a bowl of strawberries, so different sizes. I think it's really cute. Very cute. Finish sizes are three by three and two by one and a half. The next one is um, by Stitching with the Housewives. It is called Bucket Brigade 4th of July. It's a patriotic piece. It's Uncle Sam and his bucket. Very cute. And this one is 56 wide by 70 high. And this is just such a beautiful magazine, and I'm going to be weird and smell it because it smells so good. If you like the fresh, fresh ink smell, that's what it smells like. And the charts are all in color. Um, the paper quality is super nice. I mean, this is a beautiful magazine. This one is called, uh, this is a punch needle, and it's called Summertime Season 2, designed by um, Orphaned Wool. And look how cute it is. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. This next one is designed by um, Teresa's Primitive Treasures, and it's called Faith Hope Love Box. And the stitch count is 120 wide by 81 high. Faith Hope Love. I think that's really sweet. Very sweet. I'm looking to see if they tell us where they get the box. Mustard box with lid insert is available from Teresa's Primitive St Treasures on Etsy. All right. So this next one is another punch needle. Um, it's called Golden Eagle, um, designed by Leslie Davis of uh, One of a Kind Heirlooms. So this is what it looks like. Perfect for... Um, 4th of July patriotic stitching. This finish size of this is seven, seven inches wide by seven and a quarter inches high. This next one is a cross stitch. This is designed by Jenny Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. It is called a parade of elephants. Very cute. Very cute, very light um, in that picture. Stitch count is 106 wide by 47 high. This next one is a punch needle. It's called Wander. Uh, it is designed by Happy Cat Stitchery in Wickery. And it is 9 and 3 quarters inches wide by 6 and 3 quarters inches high. And it says not all who wander are lost. Very, very cute. I like that one. It's not going to be the one, though, that gets me into a new um, hobby. They also have a featured shop. So this month, it's the Black Cat Stitchery, and they just kind of tell you all about it, what they have. They show you um, a really nice spread, staff pictures. I mean, this magazine is just really gorgeous. I'm going to say that every time, too. This next one is a cross-stitch piece, and it's called Tomato Basket. 
uh, designed by uh, Becky Noland um, of Lucy Beam. And this is what it looks like. Super cute, super perfect for summer. I mean, I know this is a summer issue, but it's super perfect for summer. A stitch count is 74 stitches wide by 58 high. And I misspoke early. Not all of the charts are in color. Um, I think, I guess it depends on when they, the designer. So like this one, for example, is in black and white, but you can still read it just fine. Um, this is uh, Old Glory. It is a punch needle designed by Teresa Kogut. And it's uh, six and a half inches wide by four inches high. And it says Old Glory. Really pretty. All right, this next one is a Barbara Anna Designs um, called Dreaming in the Seashore. And it is 55 stitches wide by 81 high. She has this Dreaming series going on right now. Very cute. And so you can see she's holding a sailboat and a lighthouse, which makes it dreaming in the seashore. I think it's darling. You could also take those out if you wanted to put like, I don't know, an ice cream cone in or something. I don't know. Uh, this next one is called Spar Spar Star Spangled Shoal. Uh, it's a punch needle designed by Michelle Palmer, artist. The finish size is six and a half inches wide by four four and a half inches high. So there you go. Look at that. All right. This next one is another punch needle designed by Aunt Susie's house. Very cute name. It's called Hope. It's three inches wide by six inches high. And it is the breast cancer um, ribbon. And it says Hope. And it has this beautiful butterfly in it as well. So that's really pretty. This next one is a cross stitch pattern by Lindy Stitches. It's called Hoping in the Cone Flowers. Um, so you have a little puppy dog there helping, helping. Very cute. And this is 65 stitches wide by 98 high. I'm not sure why I didn't, I should mark this one because I, I think this is beautiful. I don't know why I didn't. This is called Summer Bees by Twin Peaks Primitives. It's 132 wide by 129 high. And I'm not super into bee patterns, um, although I am stitching Tudor Bee, which I think is really pretty, and I think this one is really pretty. I might take out the alphabet, but then I'd have to figure out something to put down here. But, um, yeah, so that's very pretty. All right, this next section is called The Creative Twist with Vanna Pfeiffer, and she gives you how to uh, each month. So this month we are learning how to create drums from uh, projects that maybe we've abandoned, we've given up on, maybe we have it partway stitched and we're just, we're done with it. Um, and so she has taken pieces of her old stitching that the projects she's abandoned and turned them into drums so that they're being put to good use, which I think is a really creative idea. And I mean, this section is all color photographs, very easy to follow. I mean, it goes on for pages. So you get really good close up pictures, how to fill the drum so it stands up properly and all of that. So really great section. Um, this next one is a punch needle called Rays of Hope, uh, designed by Janine Happ of Two Old Crows. And that's really pretty, too, with that on the box. Keep your sewing accoutrement in there. This one, finished diameter is six and a half inches. Okay, this next one is... Um, by Liz Matthews from Hello from Liz Matthews. It's called Home Spun Hearts and it's 65 wide by 85. Uh, what was that? 65 wide by 85 stitches high. And so you're stitching the alphabet and you're also stitching this like gingham check. So that's very cute. Only calls for four colors. 
as well. Okay, this next one is a punch needle. It's called Eagle Patch. It's designed by uh, the Cooper's Cottage, and it is four and three-fourths inches wide by four inches high. Another great patriotic piece, perfect for this time of year. If you're into punch needle. This next one is called Maria's Book, and it's designed by uh, Shakespeare's Peddler. Uh, it's 95 wide by 32 high. And what she's doing is she is taking pieces from samplers and turning them and re-charting re, um, them. So this is Maria's Book, it's called. Yeah, and they show you the sampler of which that was taken, that Teresa from Shakespeare's Peddler um, took part of, uh, part of that design from that sampler. She's calling it a sleepover series, and it's, it's basically like a needle work. All right, this next one is a punch needle. It's called Posies, designed by Roberta Jackson. It's seven and a half inches high by six and a half inches wide. You see it says Posies, really, really pretty. And that was the last one. That's it. So that is the summer 2022 issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Let me know, 20 projects inside. Let me know if there's anything you liked in here. Let me know if you punch needle and how hard it is, or if there's a piece in here that's gonna make you think, hmm, I need another hobby called punch needle. Let me know, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.